I'm here with Gwen Whiting at the Washington State History Museum in Tacoma, Washington. We're standing in a gallery called Shaping a New World, and this area really talks about the volcanic forces that formed the state, as well as other events like the Great Floods. Um, if it weren't, in fact, for our distinct regions, Washington wouldn't have nearly the variety of crops and agricultural products that we have today. Gwen explained that they incorporate agriculture in the museum because it's something that goes back throughout history. Food is a basic human need and a way that we build community, so it's something that is seen throughout the museum. So right now we're standing in a replica of a coastal Salish plank house. Um, this is a traditional dwelling. The first agricultural practices in our state were practiced by Native Americans of many different tribes. Um, traditional food gathering was very important, and this area shows some of the foods that Native peoples used. Everything from salal to wild blackberry to wapato. One of Washington's most well-known crops is the apple. So Gwen showed me a fascinating object that was used in the apple fields. So this is an apple picking bag. It's uh -huh. actually from 1925. It's pretty rare to have, again, an ordinary object like this survive that long because people generally just discarded them. Mm -hmm. Now, an apple picker would generally expect it to work about 10 hours a day, and during that day, they would be expected to pick, on average, between 50 to 80 pounds of apples in one of these bags. Wow. One of the pickers that was interviewed for the exhibition remembered, in fact, picking 104 pounds of apples on his best day. <laughs> and that didn't hold a lot of apples, No, did it? no, it really didn't. Wow. <laughs> they say that weight doesn't include the weight of the, of the bag. Wow, that's amazing. Next on the tour, Gwen took me over to the migrant worker display. Some of the tools in our collection that are the most precious are those tools that people often leave behind, neglect, or discard. And in here is one of those tools. That is a short-handled hoe. Mm -hmm. It was used by migrant workers, uh, Mexican migrant workers, who came to the United States in the 1940s as part of a farm labor program. This area here, we talk about a type of seasonal laborer who was known as a bindle stiff. Oh. The bindle stiffs were folks who came out and worked in places like the wheat fields in Washington, mm -hmm. and they were named that because of the role that they carried. So if you look at it, you can see an individual, and then on the back it will tell you something. Um, like this particular label talks about how most of the men were bachelors. Ah. <laughs> and so <laughs> among the possessions they would tightly wrap in their bedrolls were pictures of women. So some photos got passed around, but other people <laughs> kept theirs private. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> When we saw a lot of what you all have around agriculture, but there are other exhibits that you have here. So how can people find out more about what's available and when you're open? Well, we're open Tuesday through Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, and then also to find out more about us, they can go to our website, WashingtonHistory.org, mm -hmm. or they can check us out on social media at Facebook and Twitter. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. This is wonderful and still so much more to see. Thank you. Mm -hmm.